Cheers and welcome my friends, I'm Horat Duck and we are playing Age of Wonders 3 together on Emperor Difficulty, maybe I should have added that to the title, as Inea Seeker of Wisdom, welcome back. Uh, in the last episode our wisdom seeking certainly paid off because we are now Master of Fire and Master of Wild Magic, which is going to come in very handy against uh, Slinterskoy the Scourge. Uh, because most of the necromancer units do have a weakness to fire. I mean, they can embalm their ghouls to um, negate that, as you can see over here. These guys have 40% 20% uh, fire protection because they stop their innate um, fire weakness by being embalmed. But not all of their units can do that. Um, so these guys have a fire weakness. Um, these guys have a fire weakness and a spirit weakness. And... Uh, I think that is looking pretty good. Um, but I, I had a look at the video of the last episode and what Sindiscoy said to me is basically we're breaking the peace with you because we won't allow you to break the seals. Now it's kind of ironic because he is the one who started breaking the seals and trying to trying to get the power of it. But yeah, it looks like we are headed for some conflict. Um, luckily, he doesn't have the Age of Death yet, for whatever reason. So I have to be, I have to be happy about that because everything I kill would strengthen would strengthen him if uh, Age of Death were a thing. So <coughs> that's good that that didn't happen. Now I can summon some stuff. Uh, this thing needs to happen ASAP. Yeah. People are going to be cranky in here, but oh well. Uh, we want the Arcane Catalyst to um, get our units to be supercharged. And when that's done, we want to go for Sorcerers. <coughs> for the Sorcerers Conflux. Uh, for the Sorcerer Level 3 building, basically. To um, get units that are summoned here an additional rank. This is going to be our staging ground for any future war. What, what will that give to units? Inflict fire emulation to produce units. That's pretty cool. What can we what can we build here? It's a Tigran city. Um, I could build Tigran apprentices. I'm not sure what they get. But oh well, yeah, we got we got some cleaning up to do here. And oh yeah, that is why I stopped the fight. I could actually summon someone or something um, on the other hand if I just wait one turn I can summon units that are supercharged right so that's that's a thing supercharged units then I could send my archangels um, into the battle without having any regard for their for their safety <laughs> Hmm. It doesn't really matter. I'm gonna I'm gonna summon someone, nonetheless. What well, could go? I mean, yeah, we had some discussions in the comments about the obsidian dragons. I really like how they look. I find them very very stylish. But I kind of agree that they aren't that strong. They do have the path of decay, which is certainly something I don't want. And Frequency Valley Poison, though, is pretty good. I like it. And they also do have the Fearsome. I mean, they're dedicated to evil. But uh, that gets that gets removed when we summon them within a city of ours that has the Keeper's Creed. Or, you know, the um, Fires of Freedom or something. Um, yeah, I guess they are not the most most advantageous things to summon. 8 hit points, 8 hit points, 8 hit points, 16 hit points. 3 times 8 is 24, 30, 40 hit points. So by the time they reach champion, rank 1, they're gonna have 50 hit points more. So that means 130. That's not great. Nope. Oi. I wanted to have a look at the spell. These guys are gonna have more health. 
8, 8, 8, 16, 10, but they start out at 90. Do inflict the brain rot, which is pretty cool. But only works against heroes. Severely poisoned is a bit better. They do have a heavy fire and spirit weakness though, so that's bad. What are your resistances? Hmm, you have no weaknesses and 100% blight protection. They could definitely come in handy when we fight in the uh, Slinterskoy. Because the um, it's a goblin necromancer is going to be pretty heavy on the blight. Um, question is, should we play to our strengths? Or should we play to Slinterskoy's weaknesses? Is the question, right? Or what about you? I think these are just insane. The Eldritch Horrors, I think they might be the most powerful tier 4 unit. I mean, they have their weaknesses, but they have Spirit and Blight Protection as well. So, yeah, these guys are definitely better than the Obsidian Dragons, which is also reflected in their summoning cost. And the Dominate ability, these units are crazy good. I think we're going to want to go with um, another Eldritch Horror, maybe. Oh, let's, let's summon another Archangel for now when we go after these guys. I'm going to do it manually, but it's going to be quick. Okay, emulating my guy. That's fine. That can happen. Some fire bombs that can also happen. Where's my new one? Yeah, it's you. Okay. Let's go! Definitely want to bring you up to trooper level at least. Got the fire wyvern over there. Oh, I could try to dominate one of these one of these idiots. Do we need to heal anyone? Uh, Aeneas is Kind of, kind of hurt. Let's go for the thunderstorm. Let's heal Aeneas, why not? And you fly forward and then heal yourself. That's gonna be fine. I want to level you up to elite as well. Bad decision. That was a bad decision from the Fire Wyvern. You wanted it. Sorry, you wanted it. You're getting what you wanted. Let's kill these elders. Let's also go after you. Oh, there might not be enough uh, units in here to really warrant um, leveling up two of them. Oh well, we'll see how it goes. Yeah, Thunderstorm is bad. Now. Heal yourself. That's gonna give you at least some points. You already healed. I don't think you'll be able to level up from this battle. But we'll try it. Nope, didn't work. Fine then. Be that way. Okay. We got that one. Kind of want to use those haste berries in the next turn. That's gonna be very useful. Now, what about you? You can actually just stay put. Stay put. We can't leave the seal to anyone else. I mean, I could use you to take out the volcano and stuff. Problem is that our city is going to be attacked by Nenhild the Persuasive. Hmm. Hmm. Got 85 casting points left. Feathered Serpent, Spiritual ele Spirit Elemental. Yes, the question. These guys can heal more reliably, I think. How about it? Um, let's have a look at the unit. 
What do you get? You get lifesteal at elite. That's not bad. It's kind of evil. Considering that you uh, the thought you dedicated to life. You, you have a frost weakness. That's not too bad. You got a lot of fire protection. A lot of blight protection. Uh, okay. I dig it. Inflict enfeebling fevers. A uh, fever. These guys are pretty good. That's some new. I'm not sure if we'll be able to hold that city against those guys. They... How is it? Can they leave the boat and just get outside right away? Do they have a uh, fast embark or something? I have to look at her, I guess. Can't look at her items directly. Thoroughbred mounts... No, it doesn't look like it. So, even if they come up here, they will definitely waste one turn trying to get out of the water and towards the city. And they don't have any flying units, so I guess we're safe here. I guess we're safe. Let's move over a bit. Hmm. That's gonna be interesting, taking that city. But I don't think it'll be a Big problem. Uh, looks to me like a small one. Very likely defeat. Really? Nah, I don't believe it. I don't believe it. You're gonna get it. I don't see any defeat coming coming towards me. Now, dude, can you cast? No. I haven't really given you the ability to cast anything useful. Move forward, do the thunderstorm, and then we're gonna attack the walls. Uh, yeah, both of these archangels are champions, though. I don't, I don't see any problem coming our way. Mm, Note serpent might have some problems, but nothing major. Yeah, you're gonna attack with this Archangel. Defend. Oh yeah, we got another one. <laughs> we are pretty well endowed with Archangels. Yeah, this shouldn't be any problem. I'm not worried. Is he gonna disjunct my Thunderstorm? Yeah, you can do that all day. Those Archangels don't have any problem with fire. But by all means, do it. Waste your turn. And get flanked. I don't think these guys have total awareness. And now you're stunned. Oh, that's bad. You're stunned. Could just kill that unit. I'm not sure if that is the wisest move right now. Could move against that Manticore Rider over here. These guys are uh, a problem because they get some bonuses against flying units. Yeah, well, pikemen. So they get the pole arm. Do five more damage against mounted and flying units. That's unnice, I would say. That's not the end of the world. i do that. Maybe we can daze them. Nope, that didn't work. Okay, then. Let's go after that Sphinx as well. It resisted the blinding aura. That's a shame. Hmm. How far can you go? No. Just doesn't work. Move you up. Move you up. You that guy. You're only floating, so you shouldn't really have a problem with these guys. Let's try and see if we can't stun and shock them. Uh, okay, that hurt. That definitely hurt. Let's fly up. Yeah, let's harmonize some energy. 
give the node serpent some staying power. Yeah, the node serpents are becoming a liability. I think. Well, that was, that was not extra clever of me. Dude, my poor node serpent. Leave it alone. You're gonna. You're gonna get it if we don't get you out of there. Well, you picked the wrong fight, buddy. You definitely did. Can I mind control anyone? Not really. I'm gonna bring you inside so you don't get hit with the attack. Let's have a look into the spell book. Uh, you do have a fair amount of casting points, so. You're my note serpent. Mm, I can't kill the phalanx. But I will take a hell of a lot of damage from these medical riders. Because that guy is a monster. So. Got some problems there. So I think we best defend. Or should I move away? If I move away, I'll get hit. No, defend. Um, which should give you a nice bonus here. Yeah, 20, 20 defense. That's something at least. And we're definitely gonna hit you in the back. Man, these guys are happy. Critical hits all around. Kill you. Kill you. Okay. Well, that does it. I can't really do much casting. Double cost. Only one spell per round. Well, I could go and do something. Let's see how it goes. Thunderstorm is still... What did they dispel? The thunderstorm? No Turpin is still going strong. I like it. Nearly dead, but <laughs> very dangerous. Very dangerous, those node serpents. Well, what can Aeneas do? I could safeguard. I'm gonna safeguard. I'm gonna safeguard the node serpent. Take you out of the picture. Alright then. Now, let's have some fun here, shall we? Medical Rider. Not gonna die. Tiger and Sphinx is gonna die, so let's do that. Goodbye. You wanted it, you got it. You also got it. We don't really care if we die. I could dominate them. Is that gonna help me? Yeah, why not? Nope, didn't work. Okay then. Now you really have to die. And then we got this Archangel. And that Manticore Rider is gone. Yeah. Bring it. Bring it. Come at me, bro. Um, I mean, if they die, they don't get the experience that they made during the battle. So that's kind of sucky. So we're going to heal you. Let's also... Should I? Yeah, why not? Why not? And we're gonna go after you. And you're frozen now. You're gonna die. You're gonna die. And that's it. We still have one turn of immunity for the Note Serpent. Okay, now we're back. Note Serpent is in grave danger. Kill you. Hmm. Let us let us heal the node serpent. It must be really annoying for Janus. They can't cast because Janus is down. I just wonder why the thunderstorm went out then. 
And it's just it just works for three turns. Okay, I just always finish the fights before that run out before, <laughs> which is kind of weird. Let's hit you. You can't do anything. Oh, you're panicked, right? Yay! Okay, so you're gonna die. Whatever happens. Bring you. Um, heal you. And then let's kill you. <laughs> and I lost no one. Very funny. No, oh, can't get in there. Well, gonna take it with the node serpent then. That's certainly one of the uses of a node serpent. Um, gonna release this as a vessel as well. I just can't spare any military to um, be in the garrison. We've got our builder down here. Let's bring the build up. And let's build a bit of a road. Okay, build one piece of road. Okay then. Fine, come back to you next turn. Destroy these things. Um, should I tunnel into, into those guys? I'm not sure, I might unearth something evil. Don't really want that. Could bite me in the ass if I were to do that. Let's have a look at what's over here. It's just the tomb. Nothing nothing magical. Okay then. I'm gonna use you to scout a bit south. Uh, but I guess I have to end it here. So uh, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, please give me a like. If you didn't, tell me why in the comments so I can improve. And if you want to see more of this series in the future, then please consider subscribing to the channel. I hope you join me next time. Thanks and bye-bye.